What is going on, everybody? On the tube, it's your boy, the Memphis XLR8, coming back at you with another episode of the 100 Days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where every day, for the 100 days, we duel the different deck every single day. Today, everybody, is a very special episode. Today, we're taking a look at a fan suggestion. Not even that, it's a fan submission. We're taking a look at Prank Kids at Emancipator. This is a very interesting deck. It's basically just one big old combo, but it does that combo... Fairly consistently, where we can set up a whole board of, like, negates and more negates and field nukes and things like that just to completely annihilate our opponents. So we're going to take this deck out and go to EDO Pro. Very nice deck, and it was donated today by Mr. Melfi Rabby. So thank you very much, Melfi. And uh, link down to his channel below because you made a submission. Therefore, immediately has to get bigger shout out because that's a thing. So, let's go ahead into the show and show this deck off, show all the combos and all that good stuff. And how ourselves a good one. All great, Tiara, first opponent. We want to go first with this deck, so losing, that's not so good, but we're getting to go first anyway. That's always good. All right, what do we have for an opening hand? This ought to work. This ought to work. We need a prank, kid, but we need this can work. You know, I had Emancipator, very simple bunch of monsters. You have rocks. They can special summon themselves, you excavate your deck, search out more rocks. And the one rock we need right now is Roxy. And we have three Roxies, so it shouldn't be that hard to get into them. And, yeah, this Kokimaru Guardian shall be useful, though. This will be very useful if my opponent tries to Nibiru us at some point. That will be very helpful. So, we're just going to go through the motions. Right now, we're just trying to search out Roxy. Once we get Roxy, that's when the combos really get a going. I mean, I've already got Crystal Wing right here and a Guardian here. So, what did I get into? I will right, we'll get another Drag Guy. Why not? Draw another card. That's always nice. Nice to draw an extra card. That's all we need. So, Drag Guy, let us draw another card. And I'll go into Raptor. There's Analyzer, but he's not what I need. What I need is, as I said, Roxy. That's all you want, is just one Roxy. One copy of Roxy is all you need. I suppose you can go for any prank kid, really, but he's the easiest one for us to say. And there's my boy. There's my child. This is what we needed right here. Prank kid, Roxy's. So like all prank kid monsters, Roxy has a nice effect. When he's sent to graveyard as link material or fusion material the prank kid, he does a thing. So Roxy will go away for a meow meow. Or meow, what was this thing called again? Meow, meow, moo. That's a weird name. But anyway, Roxy's going to go off. We banish a card in our hand, which will be a Seeker, I suppose. We draw a card, and then we summon a Prank Kid. It doesn't really matter the order. I usually start with Lamp, just because. So we're going to go for Lamp. Then you go for Doggo. You want to go for Doggo second. Because then it's going to activate Lampsy, and Lampsy will summon out the Water One. We're just going to go ahead and go for the water one. Because we need to get all... To do the fusion summon of the battling butler, or whatever his name is, you need to have the three original prank kid monsters. So now we're going to go for a cock -a doodle doo Another nice monster. So that's going to let us get our fusion spell. And then water will give us a thousand life points and summon our last monster. And... So we'll get ourselves some life points and then we summon fanboy. There you go. Now we get the fusion spell. And so we're pretty much all set up. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and make ourselves a crystal wing. What chumba. We need to leave this dude on the field, so don't touch him. We're going to go ahead and make Verte Anaconda. We're going to put him right here. And normally this will be the part where people just rage quit on you. Because it's like, oh no, it's what's his face? It's good old fashioned Dragoon. Me, I'm not a guy who <laughs> likes Dragoon all that much. He's kind of an annoying dude, but what can you do? Sometimes you just gotta do it, man. So there we go. We got three monster negates and the ability to field nuke, and my opponent did not want to stand for that. All right, understandable. If I saw this board, I would be upset too. So th that's how you're gonna win a lot of times with this deck, at least playing casually. People do not want to deal with it. You know, I've got I've got three monster negates. Well, two and I Omni negate. And I've got the ability to field nuke with the butler, who is reusable thanks to Meow Meow. So, there's our first duel. At the very least, I showed off the combo. 
Uh, the only thing you need to remember is you can't do the butler during your turn, the turn you do this. But that's why this is a quick effect. This is a quick play. So there's first duel. Let's go for duel number two. See if we can find someone who will at least attempt to break our board. All right, he's secondary opponent up against a guy called Blackbird. That sounds like he's probably playing Black Wing, so we'll see how that goes. Opening hand is an interesting one. I mean, I've got Analyzer, who is good for going second. Um, should I stop that? I will leave that alone for now. I'll leave it alone for now. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I should have. Maybe I shouldn't have. I think I think we'll be fine. Maybe if he goes for another allure, I'll stop that one. But for now, we're good. Yeah, this is indeed Black Wings. Okay. As I figured. As I kind of sort of figured. Ah, Barry's Statue of the Storm wins. That is even more annoying than what I normally do. Okay, that is that's certainly a thing. All right, well, we're just going to have to go for Analyther. And hope that Analyther can kill this thing. Because if I can't, I'm going to be able to do nothing. It's kind of the thing about barrier statues. They lock you out of all the special summons. All right. Well, now that we've gotten rid of that, let's go ahead and do the combos. Come on, Roxy. Where are you at? Where's my boy? Where's my child? I need him. We'll just go ahead and start off with our guardian. That'll protect us from Nibiruing. I don't think this guy will be playing Nibiru, but there's always that small possibility. So we're just going to go ahead and do more at Emancipator. I really like Adam Emancipators. They have a lot of potential. I mean, I know they were kind of... They, they were meta at one point. Back when Block Dragon was legal. Of course, that's no longer the case, but there you go. All right, so we've got Roxy going. I'm going to go ahead and do the Prank Kid combo while I'm thinking about it. Free up some space as well. So now Roxy will do his thing. Uh, nope, not yet. Not yet. So now we're going to banish our other Analyzer. Don't need that. Okay, so now we're going to go for Flame Boy. See, that, that's the thing about people who play like Barrier Statue. They don't think, oh, the guy's going to just attack me. I'm actually surprised he didn't have like something to protect the Barrier Statue. It's kind of weird. It's kind of odd. You know, you'd think you'd have had like, a, I don't know, Scrap Iron Scarecrow or something. You know what I mean? You'd think that would have been top priority, but apparently not. All righty, so let's go ahead and cock-a-doodle-doo. Cock-a-doodle-doo, the man, man. And then we're going to go ahead... Oh, wait, I already have my fusion spell. Okay, that, that's fine. I still needed to go for cock-a-doodle-doo, though, because I need to recover my monsters. I need to recover the monsters, because if I don't recover the monsters, I can't do the fusion. It's kind of important. All right, so we'll get rid of cock a doodle doo We'll get these two back. Thank you. That way I can do the fusion summoning. So now what I'm going to do... I've already, I've already used that. Hmm. Risky maneuver. But I'm going to try it. Raptite. I go for Raptite. Excavate some more. I might as well just keep excavating. I don't have a reason not to at this point. My opponent tried to lock me down. I'm allowed to do as I please. And we'll go for Doki Doki. Put him in defense mode. There you go. See, that, that's the nice thing about this deck. Like I said, is like it makes one combo over and over, but it does it so well. So now what I need to do is summon out Researcher. I will not be able to excavate anything else, but this should be fine. So we'll go ahead and make Crystal Wing. And we shall make Verte Anaconda Hacha. And then do the thing with Anaconda. And this will probably be the part where my opponent is not happy with me because Dragoon is just that kind of card. People don't like it because he's a he's a bastard. Dragoon's a bastard, and that's just how it is. So we'll end our turn. We're pretty set. You know, I've got a monster effect negation, an omni negation. I've got the ability to summon out my boy, and my opponent surrenders again. I, we're not gonna we're not gonna have any full duels today. I don't feel like we're gonna do that. Unfortunate. I might have to switch into the uh, competitive server. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's go for duel number three in the competitive server today, and see what we come up with. All righty. I've not dueled in the competitive server like in a long time. 
So we'll see what we get here. I usually like to play in the you know casual server, not because of being casual. I mean, I am. Don't get me wrong. I prefer the casual server. There's a lot more. There's a lot more variety in the casual server. I feel. That's why I like to do it more. All righty. What do we have here? Let's see here. I do not have a great opening hand. Good luck. Have oh no, this guy's playing like Psy frames or something. He's playing like Psy frames or something. I don't like that. All right. What do we got here? Um, go for supplier, I suppose. Nice little monster supplier. He will allow me to get another Quaki Meru. Just getting things to the hand, deck thinning a little bit. It's a nice thing. So we'll go for Quaki Meru Guardian in the hand. And we're going to go ahead and get out Raptite. Because I really need Roxy. I mean, I can make Crystal Wing. Don't get me wrong. And I can also special summon Supplier from the hand because a rock went to the graveyard. So I'll have a little extra damage on top of all that. So we'll get that to going. Let's go ahead and excavate with a Raptite. Come on, give me Ro There's Roxy. There's my child. There's my boy. All right, so Roxy's just going out here. Put those on the bottom of the deck, and we'll go for our prank. Actually, wait a minute. Before I do anything... Before I do Prank Kid combos, I am going to make Crystal Wing just in case of Nabairu. Because Nabairu can mess me up quite a bit. That's the thing. You always got to be... With this deck, you got to be worried about Nibiru. Because if your opponent Nibirus you before you finish making Crystal Wing or whatever, you're going to have a bad time. You are going to have a very bad time. Alrighty, so now we'll go for our usual combo. Like I said, with this deck, you're doing the same thing over and over. It really just depends on, like, what you're dueling against. Yeah, you know what I mean? So now Lampsy goes off. And, no, thank you. And then he'll take damage, summon a Prank Kids monster, yes. I shall summon forth the Watery Boy. You know, I remember a long time ago, I thought these were, like, three different kids. Now, this is the same kid. It's all it's all three faces of the same small child. That's the height. That's why there's three pictures on the on the cards. That's why there's three pictures. It's because it's one boy, three different emotions: the crybaby, the bigger crybaby, and the seriously messed up one, the water one. Watch out for that boy. He is secretly evil. All right, so we'll get ourselves our prank infusion, and. Hmm, I kind of want to keep, co or not Cockadoodle do. I got to get rid of him. I kind of wanted to keep this a player, but no, no, we're just going to go use our Animancipated Signs. This will revive a monster. That way I can make Verte Anaconda. Hacha. And I couldn't place a rock on top of my deck. I will do that. I'm going to put Doki Doki on top of my deck for various reasons. So now we're going to go ahead and make a Verte Anaconda. Hacha. Do the Verte Anaconda thing. And there you go. I almost feel copy. This guy said good luck and have fun. Uh, that's in the competitive server. So I don't know if this guy's not competitive. Or he actually has something in his hand that you know would mess me up. Regardless, let's go for battle damage. And you know, we don't have quite game, but we're pretty damn close. We are pretty damn close. So let's go ahead, do lots and lots of damage. I have a feeling he might have, like, evenly matched or something, but luckily I've got the Dragoon to end all Dragoons, so that won't work on us. Evenly matched will not stop my Red-Eyes Dragoon. Alright, so main phase number two, we'll set our fusion spell, and we end our turn. Alrighty, let's see what this guy can do. Let's see him at least try, okay? If he can just try to get around us, I'll be happy. I will be happy as a cucumber, because then I'll finally be able to make my butler boy. Where is my boy? There he is. Battle a butler. Basically what this dude does, you can tribute him to destroy all of your opponent's monsters. Uh, GG, sorry I bricked so hard. All right, you can have a GG. Okay, he, he bricked. Quote, unquote, bricked. It's not that he saw this amazing board and just rage quitted, but, you know, maybe he did. Regardless, uh, let's go for our fourth opponent, and again, 
I'll do it on the competitive server and see if we can find someone who will actually do us. Alrighty, the fourth opponent against a guy calling himself Noob, and I can't win rock, paper, scissors to save my life today. I don't know what it is. Normally, I'm at least confident in it, but today, I just can't win. Weird that. Weird that indeed. So we'll see what this guy's doing. Our opening hands are, I mean, I've got Seeker, I've got Doki Doki. I got stuff and things and things and stuff, so that's a good thing. Hmm, starting with a set card, that does worry me slightly. Now I'm even more worried, because this is the layer of dankness. That could be problematic. It could be, because that allows him to tribute my stuff, and he turns me into darks. Not that that really affects me, but the uh, ability to tribute my stuff is a little... Little much, little much, little much. We'll see. Depends on what he's got. He's got something already. Uh, is it your trap card, my friend? No? You're just thinking about it? Okay, you're, you're just thinking about it. All righty. So what we're going to do... Good question. What are we going to... I think I'm going to start with Doki Doki. And discard rocks to summon different rocks. All that matters is if he gets rid of Doki Doki now, I might be in trouble. Please don't murder Doki Doki. Dark Monster 3000 Lost Attack. And then I've got to... What? Destroy a card of their choice in the hand or deck with... 2000... Oh wait, no, that'll actually help us. That will actually help us, because I was going to go for Analyzer anyway. And so now, that'll actually help. Thank you. Thank you, noob. You clearly live up to your name. You live up to your name, because you have only helped me. You didn't even realize it. All righty, let's go for Adamantipata Signs. This will revive my Analyzer. I could get Doki Doki, but there's literally no need to anymore. I could do it, but I'll be good. Because now I can place my Dragite on top. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I want to put Roxy on top. That's for sure. All righty. Analyzer. Analyze. Oh, wow. Who would have guessed I had Roxy right on top of my deck? All righty. We should be good from now on. The one weakness we do have, though, is being tributed. That is true. If he starts tributing my stuff, that could be problematic. It could be just a wee bit problematic, lads and lasses. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do here... Might as well go for Seeker, see if we can get Dragite and draw another card. That would be nice. Uh, we get another Doki Doki. Okay, that's fine. It'll be good fodder. So now what we're going to do is go for Raptite. And use these two. And go Hwacha. Just go Hwacha, and then go over Raptite. Come on, level 2, level 2, level 2. Uh, what did I excavate? Uh, might as well go with Dragite, I suppose. Might as well. Yeah, unfortunately did not get a level 2 tuner. Which is unfortunate, because I kind of needed that to do everything. Kinda. Ah, oh, but I got Doki Doki, that's right. Okay, so what we're going to do here... Go for Meow Meow. I'm running very low on time. A lot, lot lower time than I should be having. But such is how it is. I'm just going to have to speed run it a little bit here. Hopefully I don't have to like lose out on any damage. That would be bad. I don't want to lose out on the damage. Ash Blossom. Don't, don't interrupt me, Ash Blossom, with your ash and your bloss. I don't need none of your nonsense. All I need is to summon this rooster over and over again. That's all I need. And then, yep, rooster goes off, and then Lampsy goes off. I'm surprised this guy's still here. Has to be said, I'm surprised he is still here. You'd think he would have ran away by now, but apparently not. So now what we're going to do is go for, eh, not Halka Fibrax. Nice try, but not quite. Go for... Oh, wait. Almost! That timer had me rushing a little bit. Don't want to do that. Seriously, do not want to do that sort of nonsense. Okay, so now we go for Verte Anaconda. You do not want to use that. We want to use Analyzer and Dragite. Wacha. And then what we want to do is use Doki Doki's effect. 
Ditching Doki Doki. That'll get out Researcher. See, I'm going to have time. Don't worry. I don't even have to go for the battle phase if I don't really want to. I should, depending on what this might be, but I should be good. I mean, I'm going to drop Verte Anaconda's effect, and I'm going to be like, Hello, I am Dragoon, Destroyer of Worlds. And hello. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and pop whatever this is. I'm going to pop whatever this is. None of that. And go for Battle Phase. See, there, there you go. That's the idea of the deck. See, this guy was trying to tribute my stuff and interrupt me. He interrupted me way too early. He interrupted me way, way, way too early. I mean, I understand it's hard sometimes to know when you should interrupt people and when you should not. But that was definitely way too early. Definitely just a wee bit too early. And I almost OTK'd him. Not quite, though. So we'll set our card and we will end our turn. And this guy will probably rage quit unless he has, like, sphere mode. If he had sphere mode, that would be bad because we kind of don't want him to do that. Sphere mode is like our greatest weakness, because if he tributes my Crystal Wing and my Dragoon, then I got, like, nothing. And I'm going to be like, no. I'm going to be no, sir. No, sir, Bob, some say. Go away. No more Lair of Darkness for you. All right, we just beat the clock. That's good. My opponent has no life points. Nothing on the board. I have a monster effect and an Omni Negate, plus the ability to summon out a big dude. Which, through the power of editing, I will finally be able to do. So what I'm going to do is... Omni Negation. And also summon a dude. Yes, my dude. I shall now summon a dude. I summon forth the Battle Butler. And now this is 5,000. And you lose, because Lampsy will burn for 500 damage. All righty. Well, there's another game. Fourth duel. At least the guy tried. Has to be said, for a noob, this guy tried. So I'm happy for that at the very least. But for now, let's go ahead and go to the end screen. I think we've seen enough. We've done everything we can do today. Alrighty, everybody. Adam Anzipate of Prank Kids. We went 4-0. This deck is... It's a crazy... It's a very sadistic deck. Melfi, you was a crazy boy making this thing. But you know what? It was a very nice deck. I very much liked it. Very much. Even if Dragoon does get banned, this deck will still work for the most part. I mean, you'll just be ending on Crystal Wing plus Battle Butler instead of Crystal Wing and Dragoon. And it still works. It still work, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, th remember to like and sub here if you did really enjoy the video, if you made it this far. And uh, also check out Melfi's channel if y'all would like to see some Melfi stuff. And next time we are looking at um, Gadget Machinas. Machina Gadgets. One of those two. Regardless, let's go ahead and say thank you for watching. And your boy Memphis is signing out. I'll see you next time.